Alright, so today I'll be going to Ambato and then from there to Banos. Banos is pretty popular. I think it's like um, hot springs or something. I seriously haven't looked it up. But I'll go to Ambato and then go to Banos tomorrow or I'll just go straight to Banos. I really like Quito actually. It's, uh, it's very like Mexico City back in like 20 years ago. It's uh, dirty, but it's it's there. Like I like it. The transportation is really good. It's it's getting there, you know. Like it's 20 years behind, but in 20 years it'll be like pretty good. I uh, guess yeah, so this is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna walk to the metro bus and take the metro bus to the bus station. So I arrived at the bus station. It's actually really nice. I kind of thought it was going to be crappy, but it's really nice. And these are the buses that go to other uh, towns and also the, where the city buses come. So it's like a Grand Central. So this was a very nice station. It was very easy to buy the ticket. Everything's well uh, labeled. The signs are easy to read and stuff. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good transportation system they have here, like I've been saying, here in Ecuador. Guys, check out that mountain and the waterfall. This is the hostel. So, guys, we got this room with a private bathroom for eight dollars and fifty cents. TV rooms, I mean beds, and this nice view. And this uh, guy that I met on the bus. What's your name? Juan. 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 Oh, yeah. he's from uh, Cali. Right. From Cali, so got it. he's gonna be chilling here. I'll probably be hanging out because he's gonna be here for two days. We're sharing the room, so it's a very touristy town, it's full of hostels. The cool thing is that it's the low season right now, so I guess it's kind of cheap. It's eight dollars and fifty cents for one room, so I think it's pretty cheap. But yeah, like the whole town is full of like hostels everywhere. Right in front of the bus station is this. Uh, Mirador, which is like a lookout. You gonna jump or what? Oh, they have bungee jumping? Yeah. I don't think so because it's too expensive. Dude. It's probably gonna be like 60 bucks. No, it's no? 15. 15? Yeah. 15 dollars? Yeah. Okay, I will do it then. If it's 15. Oh boy, it's scary just looking at it. I think it'll be fun though. It's really nice though. So all throughout this town there's like all those waterfalls coming out of everywhere. <laughs> there's just a hole in the middle of somewhere and there's water coming out of it. I'll show you guys in a little bit. How she says. Es puerco? So we're gonna eat this. It's not corn, it's like something else. Well, it is corn, but it's like a different kind of corn. And then this is uh, pig skin. The hostel owner here is a Jewish guy, and they're gonna have a Jewish, well, like a, I don't know, Israeli meal tomorrow, $7, and she's preparing fish for it. It's trout, so I guess they have like trout farms here. So guys, we came here to the baths, or the hot springs, I think, and this is the church. It looks really nice. It's got the LEDs on top, and then here's the plaza. It's a very nice setup. Check it out, guys. I was just telling... What was her name again, dude? Juan. Juan, yeah. I was just telling Juan, like, it sounded like waterfalls. That's actually like the waterfall right there. It looks like a tree from the from by, far behind. Because it's green, it's got green lights. It looks like it's gonna be interesting because I don't see how that's gonna be warm. It's gonna be cold as shit. <laughs> I was just telling Juan that this is probably the cleanest water ever. 
This is one of the highest points of um, Ecuador. Oh my god, this is actually really full. <laughs> it's crowded, yeah. If you really want to take a shower in cold water, you can just go there. The main pool is closed. So they have another one here. So they have four pools. And you gotta wear a cap, I don't know why. I understand that you have to take a shower, but why would you need to wear a cap? <laughs> and then they have lockers over there. Crap, this water is cold, like mountain cold water. And these guys are taking showers here. I take some balls. <laughs> so the trick is that you gotta take a cold shower and then jump into the hot water. Things, I forgot what they're called, public, I uh, where you can wash your clothes. And then they have, here's the waterfall, this is where it ends. So we just shower with that water, it's freaking cold, man. But I'll tell you guys, it's not as cold as Colorado, uh, Colorado snow water. I know because I swam in that water before and it was freezing. You guys seen my videos from Chiapas. I've gone through bigger full waterfalls than this with the French girls. Those pools are pretty nasty if you ask me, but we still went in just for the experience. But you know, there's way too many people there. <laughs> just keep your mouth shut when you go in there. Keep all your holes shut. <laughs> the lighting on this church is really good. They did a good job on this palm tree too, but it's nice looking. So we're gonna have dinner. It's like a seafood place, I think, which is kind of weird because we're on the mountain. So as you guys know, like, look at this guy. He's having lamb, lamb chops. That's really good. Six dollars and fifty cents, but it's worth it, I think, because I really love lamb, and I'm having goat. In case you didn't know, you can actually eat gold. It's pretty good. Let's go! 